Hello, everybody. I'm Mannequin. Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Hello. Let's see who's here. Norian says, I'm hype. It's your second stream. Welcome back. Thanks so much for coming back. And also, um, before I continue, I do want to say I apologize for not being able to do Mario Kart. I was up till like 7 a.m. <laughs> Good morning, Ataru. Um, I was up until like 7 a.m. So, so from the stream to when you guys streamed, all the way up to 7 a.m., I was trying to get my Wii, my Wii, my Switch internet working. And no matter what I did, it wouldn't work. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. for you. Oh, man. Yeah, so I'm running off of like a few hours of sleep. So, uh, <laughs> but so I since, first of all, I sincerely apologize for not being able to Mario Kart. I called my um, ISP. They said they would get the, um, internet to give me a static IP address sometime soon, but they can't do it right now for whatever reason. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to play with you guys on the Switch for a little while, but hopefully in a few weeks we can actually do the Mario Kart stream. So thanks so much for staying with us. It's 7 p.m. for you. Well, it's a perfect time to just, uh, you know, chill and hang out. Uh, let's see who's here also. Um, hey, Bowser Jr. Um, Please meow for in a deep voice like you did for, um, Agia. Meow. <laughs> um, I'd like to know the song. Um, I think the song should be in the description. Um, or at least the channel that has the song is in the, um, description. Um, also, yes. And, uh, Gaming Parrot, hello! How are you doing? Ataru, good morning! It's... 8 o'clock for you, right? 8, 8 a.m.? Hachiji. Uh, hello, Holly. It's okay, I'll join my streams, even if they become a disaster. <laughs> they're, they're usually disasters, so. <laughs> All right. Come on. Headphones up. So today, um, instead of doing Mario Kart, we are doing something a little bit different. Um... I know quite a few of you. Hey, Chumsuke, how's it going? 9 a.m., I see. Um, uh, I've been getting quite a few requests to play a game called Stray. So it's a game about a cat. So representing the cat squad, we have SpaghettiO here. Um, SpaghettiO is going to be hanging out with me today. Um, and... Yeah, so let's figure out what happens to the cat. Now, I want to say before I begin, actually, that this is the first ever blind, completely blind playthrough. Like, when I say blind playthrough, that usually means I haven't played it before. But um, in this case, I have never seen anything, like absolutely nothing. I don't know a single thing about this game. I just know that you guys have recommended it. So, yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, and we'll see what happens to this cat in Stray. I saw your dad playing Stray on your household PS5. Well, tell your dad to come say hi. <laughs> this is a parent stream now. No kids allowed. Kids, get out of here. Get your parents. Yesterday it was awful in Tokyo. What happened? I've seen a bit. Hope I enjoy the game. I probably will enjoy the game because I'm a cat person. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a, a parents only stream. Kids, you gotta go. <laughs> All right. So I did adjust the settings, so everything should look okay. I think you can see and hear it. And here we go. Let me know if the music is too soft or too loud. Begin. Oh, new game. Start. <laughs> Drunk dude's trying to fight you. <laughs> yeah, that must be um it must be it must have been a tough work day. Does it count if you adopt a fictional character? Sure. 
Oh. Meow. It's a little too soft. Okay. Ooh. This should be better then. Meow. Hello, I'm a cat. Oh, going this way first. Can I jump? How do I jump? Oh, pressing circle, press circle to meow. Meow, matey. This is best game, best game. Chase your tail. Wait, do cats chase their tails or is it only dogs? I don't know. Meow! Meow tail! Come back here! <laughs> you have a face. Oh! 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 Finally, someone's simping for me. It's not the other way around. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Akioma? Meow, matey. I love you, brother. Hey, Randy. Meow. Mother? Mother, maybe? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I'm an attractive cat. I'm getting lots of kisses. Mmm. Well, I guess this is the end of the game. Let's just go to sleep now. Good night, my dear friends. If I start simping for cats, don't worry. Don't worry. But Kitty kind of cute, though. We'll name her Darling, because she is my darling. Meow. Meow. Meow? Meow. Inside the wall. You know, I've always wanted to go to a cat cafe in Japan. You know, in Japan, they have these cafes where you can order food while playing with cats. Oh, where'd everyone go? Oh, there you are. Meow! Meow, matey. Dang, girl! Look at that cat booty. Mmm. Meow. Meow. Mmm. Meow. Ho 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 ho! Oh, you want some of my booty? Oh, here. Here you go. Here you go, girl. Mmm. Uh, which way should we go? Should we go this way? I don't think there's anything this way. Oh, I can run. And I can first person. Oh, X. X. Boink. Boink. 
Can we go jump in the water? Oh, cats don't like water. And up here. Oh, hey, girl. I knew I'd find you up here. Press circle to meow. Mmm. Hey, girl. Oh, you want me to get down just for you? Oh, of course I can get down just for you. Oh, oh, she likes my booty! She likes my booty! Where'd everyone go? Hey, guys, you back here? Come on. It's lonely wandering the streets alone. Would you like to wander together? Oh, is that a yes? Well, it's not a no. Dang, can, they, can cats actually jump that high? Oh, what's this? Don't worry, guys. I'm no longer thirsty. Okay, maybe I'm a little thirsty. Hello, my darling. Uh, can we just acknowledge how beautiful this this game is already? Just look at this. Like, we have the um, sewage pipe here that's flowing. And we have this, like, kind of factory. It's overgrown. It's got some mossy areas. And you can see how the vines have, like, grown onto the wires. You can see there's a wire there. And kind of, like, the vine is growing off of it. That's really cool. This is a really, this is a really pretty game. I know, I know I've... Do, I simp a lot, but, you know, I, every once in a while I have to be a little bit serious and just acknowledge, um, you know, how great the game looks. Look, dripping water from the pipes. Oh, wait. You're waiting for me? Did I get the chat box fixed? Hopefully. Meow, matey. Meow, my darling. Oh, that's what I thought. You love me. Mm, mm, mm. My girl can't get enough. Mmm! Right, she's my- she's my mate now. The- the mostly orange. I realize I am being racist because I didn't really talk to the black one that much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, he's went over there. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Main character bot's a little bit faster? I hope so. Uh, I know they patched out some things. Darling, come back. Oh, she's playing hard to get, huh? Don't worry, you play hard to get, but I'm going to get it hard. Wait. You have to believe me, that was a complete accident. That was a complete accident. I I just didn't think about what I was I didn't think about what I was saying. Please. Please. That was an accident. 100% complete accident. I promise. I promise. That was because hard to get, so I just switched around hard and get. No, you got believe me. Please believe me. That was an accident. <laughs> That was a com complete accident. Please believe me. It's too late.
late for Sar. <laughs> Hold L2 to observe. Meow. You know, Cat's agility is actually legitimately impressive. Have you ever... Have you ever seen, like, cats, like, make really narrow jumps? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Cat! Cat! No, 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 don't do it! No! Cat! Oh, my God. Separated. Oh my, he's limping. Oh, cat, come on. Come on, cat. Cat. Cat, please wake up. Did someone bag him? What is this? This is like a dump. It's awful. The delay is reduced, I see. Well, that's good to hear. Oh! That's right, just give yourself a little lick. Let's go. Alright, cat's feeling a little bit better. Oh, his butt is dirty though. There's actually like mud and stuff. Ugh, gross. Meow. Oh, look! That's so cool! I remember when video games... I remember when video games used to not even have like uh, like stuff it would just be a cluttered junk but the fact that you can even just move things around like somewhat physically is legitimately already like super impressive like i don't think you guys realize but maybe because you guys grew up with this level of video games but the fact that i can move things around like in a reasonably physical way is just already amazing to me <laughs> i grew up in the era of polygons <laughs> Guess we're going out. Anything in the trash bag? Hello? Meow. Oh. Let me take it slow. Oh. Hello? Hello? Dead sit. Well, I feel tense now. This is no longer a fun game. <laughs> Did I sign up for a horror game? Did I just sign up for a horror game? Oh god. What have I done? Oh jeez! If only I had these jumping skills. Oh. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh, you're just filming me? Okay, sure. I see, I see. Oh. Do the catwalk. Mm, mm, mm. Boom, 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 Oh, get the get the booty picture. Da da Thank you. Um, please send the video to the finished video. Actually, you know what? Just post the video on YouTube. How's it going, entertaining? Oh, more robot? Robot? I heard the robot. Let's go. This looks like the post office. No wonder nobody's here. Because all, they're all on break! Oh, wait, wait, look! He's gorgeous! Oh no, that's just my own reflection, never mind. Beep boop. Beep beep boop. climb or not <laughs> I guess there was no point of that oh dang this oh god you guys ever the music is super atmospheric and frankly this is how I feel sometimes when I'm walking in like kind of like <laughs> Some of the less good parts in LA. These are what the apartments look like. Just crappy air conditioners sticking out of the um, sticking out of the wall. We got these windows that are just look like they're like rusted shut. Yeah, with with they even have the they even have the kind of the 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 cross links on them. Yeah, this is very. It kind of reminds me of home, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever walk in some of the bad, worst parts, some of the less savory parts of LA, this is actually kind of what it looks like. That's no joke. Oh look, all the stars are in a ring. That's perfectly normal. Oh, I heard a robot. Hi everyone, oh. C H A P E L Ch Chapel Loop? Chapel Loop? What's a Chapel Loop? I don't know. We're going. Oh, look at this water! Oh, God. Look at all this. Oh, look at all this algae that's grown on top. Freaking gross. It's not the best place to live. Well, I will say, you know, some parts of LA are very nice. It's just some parts of LA are also not. <laughs> uh, oh, there's some, is there something over there maybe? Uh, hidden collectibles? Boing. Can we jump all the way up there? We cannot. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, it says help. H E L P. Oh God. Oh. Oh, I wish you guys hadn't pointed that out to me because now I'm really scared. You wouldn't recommend South Central. Yeah, South Central Compton's not the best areas, but you know people survive. You just have to know how to protect yourself. Oh, we can go out this way, or this way. Meow, follow me. Is 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 this like subliminal messaging? Like, is this? 
Oh my god, I understand why all YouTubers seem the same today. Like, remember how I was talking about how all the YouTubers seem like they're identical? It's because they all played this game and it's brainwashed them! This game is gonna take away my personality. Uh, hey, how's it going? It's Mannequin. Um, before this video get, begins, make sure you like and hit that bell button to turn on all notifications. If you want to subscribe, make sure you subscribe down below and check out my Patreon if you wanna um if you wanna support the channel. Now let's play. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have a Patreon. <laughs> they got me. How's it going, Ari? Uh. Ooh, bucket. <laughs> Is there something I can do with the bucket? Ooh, water? Give me some water. Are we filling up? Come on, get some water. It doesn't look like it's getting any water. It uh, looks like we can't jump with the bucket. But maybe, oh, maybe we can just put it down. You getting some water? No? I guess we keep going. Jump. I am a cat person, but I don't have anything against dogs. Shall we shall we just YOLO this? Should we just YOLO it? I'm leaving it up to you guys. Try to stop the fan or just YOLO it. Yeah, just YOLO it. Just YOLO it. Oh. Oh, it doesn't it's <laughs> It has a specific, it has a specific, um, catch against that. The developers, I can imagine, listen here. If Mannequin ever plays this game, he's gonna kill the cat. Make sure there is nothing he could do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, what is this? This is another bucket. Uh, special delivery. Anything in here, maybe? I don't think it's something in there. Oh, we can take the bucket up. Maybe we can drop it in the vent so that it it gets stuck. Oh, hey! Cat is so smart. Cats are smarter than dogs. Fellow cat person? <laughs> Yeah, are you, are you guys cat people or dog people? Let me know, because I am very curious. Oop. Sorry! Oh, God! You just killed someone! I'm going to call this cat Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Oh, God! Arthur's a murderer! You still love dogs? Same with me. Okay, well, we've gone we've gone into the dark side now, so we're just killing people now. Oh! Oh god, where did that paint bucket come from? People are dying left and right. Oh, wait. No, I don't think there's anyone there. Uh, where do we go? How about here? Down there, jump here. No. Jump. P for paint. Exactly. See, you figured out the marketing strategy. Oh, up there. Here? Oh, uh, no. How about over here? Also, no. Can we move this board of wood somewhere? No. Hmm. Uh, up, poop down. There's 
there's got to be somewhere we can jump to. Here. Oh, we can jump across. Boom. Mm -hmm. Meow. Um, for those of you who don't know why, um, if you guys have ever been to um, a big city and you see these things, in case you didn't know why, because I didn't know why for a very long time, it's to prevent people or animals from sitting on them. So this cat, this thing is... These spikes are very specifically designed to prevent um, animals walking on them. <laughs> this cat is actually just breaking the rules. But yeah, um... Yeah, but, you know, I'm not a big fan of that type of... I'm not a big fan of that type of architecture. You know, I think we can live um, somewhat, like, cohesive... Cohesively? Cooperatively? Coercively? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, yeah, but we can... We can live kind of cooperatively or, you know, symbiotically. Symbiotically. I think we can do that with, um, with animals, right? I think we can put some effort in designing things to be, you know, not so... Aggressively, you know... You're not wanted here. Because, you know, another thing, another reason these things are used, these spikes are used, is to prevent homeless people from sitting on them or homeless people from sleeping on them. So if you ever look at, like, benches and how benches are slowly becoming these weird, like, structures instead of, like, an actual bench, it's because they don't want, like, homeless people sleeping on those benches. So they make it uncomfortable to sleep on. And to me, I mean, I get, I get why they do that, but it's also kind of... It's kind of very aggressive, you know? Oh, thank you. Follow me. Oh, God. Where else are the homeless going to... Yeah! What is it? If you... If you're homeless, just buy a house. It's, is, it, is it really that hard? <laughs> no, but... Yeah, homeless, I do have to acknowledge that homelessness is a very difficult problem. It's not just, it's not just a give money to the homeless makes homeless go away. It's, inc it's incredibly detailed. There are, there are a million different problems you have to solve in order to solve it. So I also acknowledge that, you know, it, it's difficult to know what to do. Am I scratching my claws? Just build more houses. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, ruin the rug. This rug probably costs like four thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, ruin this rug too. Um. <laughs> oh, where'd the can go? Wait, the can just vanished! It never came down! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yo, it flew to space and back. <laughs> Canished. Water time. Meow meow. Chat's acting up. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. It's gonna happen. Um, they, I'm still waiting for them to fix the problem. But thank you for bearing with it. That's why I'm glad YouTube has their own chat play box playback as well. So in case something like this happens, um, we can still see chat. All right, we're in. Bucket X. We. <laughs> Boink. We made it down. 
Uh, oh, oh, whoa, 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 I'm coming up. Hello? Meow, matey. Meow. Hello, robot friends. My name is Arthur. I am very pleased to meet you. I was hoping the glass would break. I'm not sure why, but it would be a really... It's really difficult to animate glass breaking. Did you guys know that? Because glass breaks in a very mathematical way. So you have to calculate it. Oh, this, this robot's moving. Hello. Oh my, they look like head crabs from uh, Half-Life. You guys ever play Half-Life? Half-Life 2? Oh, jeez! Nope, nope, you are evil. I'm staying away. Robot? Would you like some help? Nah. Would you, would you like some nah would, would you like some nah <laughs> hello well now i am a literal murderer I killed him. I'm sorry. Here lies a robot named Bobo. So they called him Robo Bobo. He was a nice man. He will be missed. His battery died. I don't know. Arthur's pretty vicious. Uh, hotel. Or yote. Hello. I'm cat. Funk. Meow. Oh, duh, it's wet. Okay, dry off, Arthur. Oh. Funk. God, cats are so freaking agile. It's so amazing how, like, how effectively cats can- Oh my god. Run. Run. RUN! It's- it's time to- it's time to leave. It's time to go- Oh my god! Oh my freaking- No, no, no! Oh no! Oh god, it is a horror game! It's a horror game! Oh, 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 no! Run, no, run! Oh my god! Ah, 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 please, no, please, no! Run, run! Oh, no, no, no! Oh god, circle, circle! Oh, circle, circle! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 Please don't! Please don't! Oh no, they're still here! Go! 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 Meow! This is a wholesome game about a cat. <laughs> Your stomach hurts from laughing. Stop laughing at my misery. <laughs> what happens when you click and hold the meow button? Yeah, yeah, they just yeet themselves at you. I've Oh, ramen! Oh, no ramen. Oh, uh, I guess they're closed. Oh. Bar! 
not not that way. Oh, we can go over here. Meow, matey. Boing. Oh, sorry about that. Uh. Hoti. I assume that means hotel. That says, Ihoy, International House of Yogurt. Ihoy. I thought that was gonna fall. Can I go up there? Go over here. International House of Yeet. You know what I find really fascinating? The fact that, not the fact that cats can jump really far, but the fact that cats can jump really far and also measure how far they can jump. It's like they don't just jump really far, they jump really far, but they know the approximate distance that they need in order to get to the other side. It's not like just cats like jump and then suddenly just fall down. You know, that it's at to me that's really cool. Terry is a is a regular at the International House of Yeet. Uh rip Terry Fallas. He was a good guy. Oh. Triangle. Yeah, cats are super cool. Anything here? Like a collectible trophy? I don't think this game has collectibles. I think this is just entirely an atmospheric game. Which, you know, aren't... I feel like there aren't enough, like, of these types of games. The games that just try to tell a story, and it is for what it is. Nowadays, I think we try a bit too hard for, like, with, like, m gaming mechanics and, like difficulty and you know we're almost obsessed with that idea maybe because of dark souls is difficult and people are attracted to it sometimes i like games that are just you know you can't you can't win or lose you just you know just go through it just look at this i mean to an extent g games like animal crossing are like that too but animal crossing is a little bit less of a story more about like building that economy and having progression in your life and you know and like slowly making you the, your dream home here it's just you know it's just a cat the way the air conditioners are just sticking out of a wall it's like so re it's so freaking it's so freaking familiar to me anyone who lives in a big city um does anyone here live in like a very large like major city um the way that, you know, the way that just the air conditioners are sticking out just feels really real. And the way, like, the there's, like, a little bit of rust going down the air conditioners. Oh. Yeah, just look at these fans. Oh, sorry about that. And you can even kind of, if you, if you, you can even hear, like, just, if you just barely listen, you can hear the fan noise. Yeah, that's really cool. This game is just super calming, except for that part where I had to run away from those mass murderers, because what WTF was that? <laughs> Basketball. Um, yeah, uh, what's my cat's name? My cat's name is Arthur. Up. Ooh. If you guys had to be reincarnated as an animal, what type of animal would you be reincarnated as? You know, I've just been thinking, you know, cats live pretty cool lives. Although they sleep like literally like 18 hours a day, but whatever. Cat would be pretty cool. What else? A wolf. You violent monster. Can we jump inside the laundry machine? You want to be a whooper? You're going to lose... You're going to literally have three brain cells. A cat or an owl. Owls would be nice. It'd be interesting to be a nocturnal animal. Wolves howl at the moon. 
Arugula. Do we go up this way? No. Oh. Oh, it tells you where to go. Can we jump over there? We cannot. Oh, but maybe we can jump up here. Or maybe we have to jump over there. Okay, maybe we have to jump from here. Somehow we have to get up here, maybe. Um, we can jump up here. You are nocturnal. <laughs> You're a burb because you seed. Oh, maybe we can jump on the wire here? No? Help me. Oh, hello, video camera. I wonder if they're tracking me because I'm the only thing that moves around here. Do you think the humans were all wiped out by those, like, monsters? Um, this guy says help? Yeah, I need help. <laughs> Can we jump up here? Right, so it seems like- Oh, I know! What if we got inside here? <gasps> Cat is a genius! Cat! You're so beautifully smart! <laughs> Meow. Across? Let's go. Across. No? Okay. I guess we'll go this way instead. Oh, up here. Boink. Oh, whoa, whoa. Careful. Also, do you know what's really interesting to me? How people don't have paws. You know how all the animals have these pads on their hands and feet? We don't really have that. You know, you can argue that's because they walk, right? But humans don't even have that on their feet. Your cat's name is Domino? That's a cute name. Can I also tell you guys a secret about me as a cat person? I'm also allergic to cats, so it's really sad for me <laughs> because I love getting near cats, but whenever I get near them, I start to like sneeze a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's really sad because I always want to be near cats, but I can't, so you can imagine what kind of torture that is. It's so torturous. Same. You're allergic to cats. Oh, 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 no, 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 not again. Oh, we're okay. You sneeze on Domino and then he scratches you. Well, dang. Thankfully, you don't have any allergies. That's lucky. We can go up here. Hey, how's it going, Four? Um, you can't watch right now? That's okay. Um, I hope you can, you know, make it at some point in the stream. If not, um, hope to s hope you can make it next stream. Um, what do you miss? You missed cat going around purring at things. <laughs> this way? Can we go this way? No. Maybe up here? No. Oh, across? No. Back up. Ah, we can take the air conditioning vent. Here we go. Knock it over. Bonk. Your only allergy is egg. And some medicine. Dang, being allergic to egg is tough. Because ev literally everything has egg. Ooh. Okay, we're good. The way that board creaked, that was just really cool. Like, they didn't have to make it creak, but they did. And that's just kind of cool. It's just a nice little touch. I guess we'll just jump over. Boing. Boing. Eggs would make you sick. Oh, dang. I've heard that before. I don't know exactly if it's a thing or how true it is. 
But I've heard, you know, it's because I've heard that some people they um, overcome like sicknesses to food just because their immune system gets stronger as they get older. Oh, hello. Oh, he nodded at me. Hello. Hee <laughs> hee. You know, we haven't seen a single person this entire time. I wonder if we're going to see any. Boink. Boink. You know, this kind of looks like uh, where my dad grew up. So my dad grew up in a um, uh, a um, province. My dad grew up in kind of like a Chinese province. Um, it wasn't uh, it wasn't China because you know back in the day a lot of European con uh, uh, European countries had like colonized the area. So actually, he was born under the control of Portugal, and after. You know, a lot of the colonies, they got, they, uh, they finished the colonization or whatever the terminology is, and they returned to China. A lot of apartment buildings ended up looking kind of like, just kind of like run down. I guess, you know, once you build it and you stop maintaining it, this is what it looks like. Hello? Everyone, is the stream okay? Oh, can we go inside here? No. Meow. Okay, from here on out, it's my job to meow at all the cameras. For you, everything okay? Thanks so much. Okay, whenever you guys, we see a camera and I don't meow at it, please remind me to meow at it. Ooh, here's a sign. Oh god, go, oh god, go, go, go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I hear a camera. Oh, there you are. Hee <laughs> hee. Cat can fit inside bars. Hey, we got some light. Oh no, that's just a literal light. I was hoping it'd be like sunlight, but I guess not. Hmm. What is this over here? Boxes? Meow. Yeah. Oh. Ha ha! We just had to pull the plug! <laughs> Boink. Uh oh. Spikes? The flat. You think someone lives here? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you you heard nothing. Oh God. The 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 the, the toilet is literally right next to the bedroom. Oh well. Dang. Like when you take a shower, the floor is gonna get all wet. Oh, no. Oh, it's one of these where the shower is also part of the bathroom itself. Um, yeah. Uh, the cat is intelligent? No, I'm intelligent, thank you very much. Oh, scratching time.
Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard a security camera. Oh, hello. Need help. Oh, someone needs help. In this way? No. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Hmm. Smart cat, no, not smart cat, smart mana. Thank you very much. Oops. <laughs> Enter the door, turn off. <laughs> Uh, 10 out of 10. Best gameplay. You think we'll ever see, like, sunlight in this game? Because so far we've seen nighttime. Uh, we saw sunlight at the very beginning, but after that we saw nighttime and now we're just indoors. Oh, camera. Kitty found out how to type. I'm not sure that's called typing. <laughs> oh, oh, here's another camera. Ah, there's another one. Oh, here's a plug. Universal plug and play. Looks like we have to find a few more. Ah, perfect. Click. Oh, no. Come on. Get in there. Alright, that's two. It somehow found the password for the door. <laughs> I deleted system 32! <laughs> hey, how's it going, Ryan? Glad to see you back. Uh, no? Not here? How about up here? Um, anything? Anything, guys? No? Oh, up here. Oh, sorry. That's number three. Anything over this side? Hello? 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 I just need a battery. Battery, please. Oh, jump up here. Oh, there it is. The last one. Oh, that wasn't for, I thought that was for the music. I thought the music would stop, but I guess not. What now? <gasps> Secret door! Wait, is this like a college dorm? For some reason, this feels like a college dorm. Why does it have so much high-tech stuff? Oh, robot. Hold on, I need a... I need a swig of water. Because I have a feeling that the scary part is coming again. <coughs> Thank you for the big jug. Hello. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Meow. Bonk. Oh, something fell. Hello? What is this? Um, I have something here. It looks like a computer part. I think it has something to do with this. What does it look like? Oh, it's a... Uh, wait, what is this? It almost looks like a jetpack. Oh, it looks like a... It looks like a robot head. Maybe it's a robot head. Did the water taste of gamer? It, yes, that's what all water tastes like. Can we plug it in here? No. Up. 
Let's try going over again. Anything else? Nope, nothing. Oh, box, box, get in the box, get in the box, get in the box. <laughs> Gotta be something we can do with this, right? Hello? Maybe I should drop it. Let's just see what happens when I drop it. Nothing. Let me meow. Hmm. How about over here? Is there anything over here? Oh, what about this? Uh, nothing over here. Alright. Up here, maybe? Now we're over on this stool. I'm not sure what to do, guys. Hmm. How about if we check over on this side? Anything else we need to plug in? Oh, maybe up here? No. Yeah, the other room. Good call. That's what I'm, I was thinking as well, but I don't see anything. Maybe up on top? Oh, here. Maybe. There we go. Ooh! What's going on? It's a little droid! Look at him! He's adorable! I am B12. No! B12! No! Okay. He's still alive. Oh, thanks for coming, Bowser. Beep boop. I am bot. Meow matey. I am Arthur. <laughs> no, what have you done? That's his second murder in an hour. Oh my God. Arthur, stop. Stop killing things. It, it worked. I'm free. Thank you. Hey, there's dialogue in this game. I couldn't believe all the cameras in a cat. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in dead city. I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long, long, long. I know a I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That is what it says on my exterior. Beep. It's dangerous in the city, but you seem to know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. Okay. Thanks, B12. We have a friend now! B12? Where'd you go? B12? B12? He says, follow me, and then he just straight up leaves. <laughs> Where are you, B12? Oh. That key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Oh, thank you. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here, my beautiful cat. I want to give you kisses. Oh, there we go. You're going to have to put this on. Okay. Hey! I'm Cybercat! Yo! Right, we gotta get used to moving with this. Come on. Come on. Move it. Move it. Uh, move it. Uh, move it or lose it. 
The backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. How convenient that we have this design. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Press... We have an inventory now? W... What the... We have memories? Oh my... Okay, this game is more complicated than I thought. Easy. No, complicated! If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me or to others if we come across any. Now, let's get out of this flat. Thanks, B12. Hey, yay! I think you're getting used to it, cat. Also, quick scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> Meow, matey. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, what's this? Translate. It is an engineering degree. It belonged to the scientist I worked for. Oh, that's kind of cool. We have a little bit of world lore. Well, your scientist drank a lot of beer. And, well, he had the least hygienic living situation I have ever seen in my life. Like, what the frick? How do you take a shower and then your entire bedroom gets all moist? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. All right, off we go. Oh. Where's the door? Where's the door to get out of here? Oh, here, must be. Open, please. Select an item to use. All right. Press this to use torchlight. Hey, we got a flashlight. Oh God, this is going to be such a horrific game. <laughs> okay, we can go that way. Or we can search around in here. Anything in here that might be of use? Nope. Oh well. Oh, a piano! The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider came out the spout again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Code three seven four eight. A <laughs> beautiful rendition by cat. Three seven four eight. I can remember that. Use digicode. Three uh three seven four eight. Ding ding. <clears throat> meow. Meow. Hey, sun's out. Well, not really. It's still... Whoa, why? I wonder why the stars are in the ring. That's kind of interesting. Wow, look at this place. The elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Oh, but this elevator is going down, so... Hmm, I wonder what this is. It's a padlock. Alright, in we go. Bonk. Woo! This is better than Disneyland! Oh, whoa, look at the wood. At this... Oh my... They're hatching more of them. Oh god. I thought this was going to be a peaceful and calm game. No, but they're literally hatching more. Oh my freaking frick. Holy, we, we gotta get out of here. Oh, we are, we are so out. Jump. <laughs> no way. How's it going, Orpho? Wait, I remember the outside. 
It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I have to give it a little bit of higher voice. I promised someone I would go there. Promise who? This postcard. A mural was painted from it. Let's take it. All right, we got a postcard. Gained new item. Nice graphics. I know, the graphics are amazing. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Okay, robot. Oh, hey, we got a new memory. Okay, robot, listen to me. I don't care about your life story. What I care about is getting back to my girl. I don't know her name, but I will learn it someday. <laughs> God, if I met this robot, I'd be so sassy. Huh. Uh oh, I hear more of them. Do you guys hear them? Oh, I don't want to go down there. Oh, please no. Oh God, oh God. Oh, what the, oh no, that, I thought those were legs. Those are just, just um, um, paper tied to a vent. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh no, oh God, no, please no. Don't do this, please don't do this. Okay. We'll just go up here, we'll be safe. Okay, apparently not. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. We need a swig of Big Jug. Uh, before we go down there, because I do not like the feeling of getting... Here we go. Oh, oh no, oh no, please no, please no, please no. Oh! Okay, it's time to run. No, no, please let me in. Please let me, oh, thank God. Up, 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 up. Okay, okay, we're safe, we're safe. Meow. Oh, 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 God. Okay, it's okay. Oh, oh, I see a robot. Hey, this robot's still alive! The slums. Robot! Are you sure the whole place isn't a slum? Oh, uh, uh, no. Oh. Oh, no! I'm not an enemy! I'm not an enemy, I promise! Meow, meow, meow. Well, that's not creepy. <laughs> no, no, I'm just the cat. I'm just the cat. Please. Bar W. I'm just the cat that ooh woos all day. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. up for me, master. No, no, I don't want to fight someone. Hello. Are you nice? Are you friendly? Meow. Hello. Hi. Meow meow. Transferring. Transferring data. 
They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We are not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. One. Are the villagers going to be nice to us? New friend! New friend! New friend! Oh, I get the game now. Um, people invented robots because they were incapable of making human friends. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Look at that one. He, he has a rice field hat. Like a rice farmer's hat. Meow. You look lost. What do you need? Show item? Do you know this? Oh, a picture of the outside. R ridiculous. The elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsider. Oh, we have to help the robots get out so they can be free. But they're gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. Oh, no, don't give up hope, guys. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. You mean every single building that has the orange neon sign? <laughs> Ask B12 for help. Don't hesitate to call me anytime I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. But first, scratch. <laughs> Look, guys, they're in sleep mode! <laughs> Why? Why go there? There's nothing up there. Guys, turn off sleep mode. Turn off sleep mode. Um... <laughs> they have a lucky cat. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a zer zerk. <laughs> So I guess Zerks are the, the the weird animals or the weird like monsters that we've been running into. Oh, translate. Long ago, ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their <laughs> The soft ones. <laughs> Guys, we're the soft ones. <laughs> Looks like no more humans. <laughs> Anyone down here? Hello? Oh, hey! What's up? Inspect. Hello, I am the merchant of the market. You'll give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's that simple. This ancient relic is testament to our talented of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. Three energy drink cans? Electric cables, music sheets. Okay, we gotta find some energy drinks, guys. Energy drink? Any energy drinks around here? Can we take these? Energy drinks. <laughs> We're fortunate to have these items to defend against the Zerks. The slum has its threats and preparation is key. Oh, he's harvesting items so that uh, they can make armor. Um... 
Look at these hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven. Or somewhere else. <laughs> I love these guys! They're so fun! They're just living their own lives. Just doing their best to get by, just like all of us. Right? End Robophobia! I care for the plants. Humans improved them so much. Now they require very little light. Humans didn't do a single thing for plants. <laughs> Just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. <laughs> it's not technology. I, I guess, I suppose in a way it is technology, huh? Is technology just like any form of magic to them? <laughs> Energy drink cans? Energy drinks. Energy drink can? Drink cans. Oh, here. Oh, hey! They come out of the vending machines! Oh god! Oh no! Um, you guys can't- you guys can't tell right now, but my controllers are all backwards. <laughs> my controls are moving somewhat randomly right now. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Can we activate this one? No. I wonder if we can if we should buy anything from the merchant. What if Momo drinks 24/7? What what, do, what who do you mean Momo? A set of electric cable best in the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. <laughs> what the frick? This is a music sheet, a masterful piece of art of a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. We have one energy drink can. Uh, okay, so what about this? What does this say? Translate. The market, the marketplace. Should we get the, should we get the, um, the music sheet? Yeah, let's get the music sheet. Uh, one energy drink. Show item. There you go. Yeah! Music sheet, four out of eight. Thank you. Okay. So, so far we're doing okay. <laughs> I have no idea what the music sheet is for. But oh well. Shall we keep going up? Let's go! This way, I think. Oh. Wait, take safe's mysterious password. Um, safe's mysterious password. Wait, what does it say? One one zero zero one. What the frick? It's too small for me to read. I can't read it. Yeah, I can't see it. That's the way you compute tonight. <laughs> I would love to hear that play. The way you compute tonight. It's written following numbers, but it looks like binary, a succession of ones and- Oh! We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to the safe. Oh, we can do that! Okay, let's see here. Examine. 11000. Oh god, it's hard to read. 
one zero one one what safe i ah, i can't read it it's actually the handwriting is awful i can't tell if some of these are ones or zeros oh god i don't think i can decipher this i think i need to figure out how to decipher it in the game how's it going chem joe welcome Or we can just try every combination. <laughs> Wait, let me check one more time. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Yeah, some of the ones look like zeros or ones. It's not obvious. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to the safe. Okay, so we'll have to figure that out later, probably. Maybe someone knows how to decipher it. Brute force works eventually. How's it going, Az? Um, any of you guys know how to open um, a co compute binary? Oh, this guy. This cool guy must. You seem smart. You look, at least. You look, you do look a little like a Zerk from far away, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Um, do you know about this? It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Um, are you a musician, though? Uh, do you like music? I don't play an instrument, sorry. Darn. Oh well. Oh, we have a bar here. There's so much in this game, look at this! Oh, it's the mannequin. Oh, hi guys. Grandma, maybe these clothes, pretty stylish, no? <laughs> you want something, yeah, um... Do you know how to decipher this? Only a real geek can read it. Are you a real geek? Grandma clothing. Oh, grandma's old. Grandma's really old. Uh, triangle. Oh, I can nuzzle against her. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Sure. Also... Um... You're old, so maybe you know this. Uh, apparently, but, uh, Grandma isn't a enough of a geek. <laughs> what about over here? Oh, uh, no. Her screen made a heart. I know, right? Oh, I should have bought the electric. No, I don't have detergent, so I couldn't have bought the electric cable. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the south entrance. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the south entrance to the safe the safe zone. The remuneration is. Two pints of Sabuya oil per day. Please contact Guardian. <laughs> hey, what's down here? Have we been here? Yeah, we have, I think. Batter, barter man, super spirit, laundry, grandma's... Oh, Elliot programming! Elliot programming is this way. I am looking for any sheet music to play on the guitar! If you find any, come back to me, I live near the elevator- Oh! 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 Oh god! Oh, what the frick, man? You scared the crap out of me! Bro, you scared me! Regardless, hello. Ah. Give me an energy drink, please. Yay! Uh, here's the paint. Anything up here? Up here, maybe? Uh, over there. No. Doesn't look like we're going up that way. Uh, oh, what is this? 
remember. R.I.P. Humans. Less than three. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? Nothing, because you're dead. I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Well, it doesn't matter, because you're dead. Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I don't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Hey, we found a memory! Nice! Less than three means a heart. No, it means less than three. It means less than three. Oh, what's this? Scratching post! It's okay. You can leave. The Guardian says it was not the Zerks. Hello? Oh, no, guess not. We need we need to find the programming dude. Hmm. Let's go for a run. Run, 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 run. Huh. Okay. What is this? Oh, hello. So if yesterday, if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. <laughs> we don't age like our soft one ancestors. We're trapped here forever. Um, do you like music? No. Are you a geek? Are you a geek? Are you a geek? Yes? Dang it, he's not geek enough! It's like sleeping without breathing. I should know, I've asked. <laughs> I see. Uh, no, now we're back here. I'm super lost right now. It says, uh, laundry, grandma's clothes, clothing, um, and Elliot programming. Elliot programming is this way, right? And so it should be over here somewhere. Elliot programming? Up here? Well, no. Hmm. Up here, maybe? Nothing here. Oh, well. Up here? Oh, sorry. You translate this sign, maybe? Nope. Maybe it's over this way. Oh, I've been here already. Oh, nope, nothing. Oh, well, maybe it's not open yet. Uh, let's go this way this time. Oh, this is grandma clothing. Which means Elliot, maybe Elliot programming is nearby. Yeah, this way takes us back to this dude. Hello, cat. Oh, now we're up here. Oh, 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 oh. Push, push, push. Energy drinks! Yeah! Give it to me! Oh, we are going to be so hyper. <laughs> this stream is very normal, something's up. Hey, I have normal streams every once in a while. I have streams that aren't super sus every once in a while. Oh, we can go like this, too. Down we go. Uh, this takes us over back here this way, so we should go this way. No, we should go this way, I think. Yeah, here's Grandma Clothing, and we talked to these little girls, and wait, Elliot Programming is that way? Elliot Programming, where's Elliot Programming? Elliot Programming, oh, there it is. Knock on the door and wait for us to open.
Hello. Hello. I'd like to say hi. Oh, we're in. Yay! Hi, Elliot. What is this? Oh, sheet music. We're gonna steal that from you. Sorry. Uh, what's here? I guess we're just walking into places and stealing things. <laughs> He's sleeping! Uh. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Look at this! He lives in a little bunk house. Ooh, upstairs? Are you Elliot? Oh, this is definitely Elliot. Oh, what? Face the sunlight! You nerd! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, let's chat with him. Yes, can I help you? Yes, um, could you translate this for us? Just a second, let me calibrate my lenses. Here it means do do for bar. Strange, who gives rendezvous be via by <laughs> Nariko. <laughs> okay, so we have to go to the do for bar, looks like. Anything else? We got some energy drinks, we got sheet music. Uh, Itsy Bitsy Spider Part 2. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Part one was bad enough. Come on, get up. Uh, 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 t uh, uh. He's looking at anime girls. <laughs> of course he is. Oh, we can remember. This tree is a scientific marvel. It is remarkable that human ingenuity found a way for to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. He had sheet music downstairs, maybe he's the geek- Oh, maybe! It's what the humans would have wanted. Oh, uh, I like how this, pl uh, this plant is growing out of the toilet. <laughs> Hello. Elliot's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore. It got passed down from our ancestors. Oh God! Being an otaku is contagious! <laughs> if you want him to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That will butter him up. Uh, do you know anything about sheet music? Sure. I don't. Oh, it doesn't play a musical instrument. Too bad. All right. Well, we have to collect all the sheet music anyway, so it's okay. So we found Elliot programming. I guess we'll try this. Come on. Come on. Open up! Open up! Open up! Open up! Wait, okay, this guy really doesn't um, want to think about helping me. <laughs> can we go out this way? Oh, we can. Oh, hey, we opened a shortcut to Elliot Programming. Oh, it's the cool dude. Hey, what up, bro? Hey, Teddy. Oh, we've already talked to him. All right, but anyway, this way. Um, do for bar.
Yes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. No, we need something different. What do we got? Oh, there we go! Uh, uh. Any musicians in the chat? Should we, um, clap on one and three? <laughs> Should we clap on one and three instead of two and four? All right, one and three. Oh God, it sounds so weird. <laughs> it sounds so weird when you clap on one and three. You want something? Uh, yeah, I think it's this. No, not that. I guess it wasn't you. Uh, oh, but do you play an instrument? Sheet music. Oh, too bad. Oh, that guy's out. Hello? You're new around here. What can I do for you? Um, you like postcards? This is a nice picture of the outside. Momo is a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. His flat is up in the area, look for an orange sign. Right, we gotta get that to Momo. Um, sir, you wanna wake up? Sir, I think I'm supposed to wait for you, sir. Sir! Unless you're the one uh, who sent us the mysterious password. Nope. All right. Uh, oh, maybe he's up here. There's, it's gotta be here, the pub, here's the pub. Hello, anyone here? Oh, it must be you! Looking all inconspicuous. This is newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. No! Who sent it? You said Dusker Bar, right? This is the Dusker Bar. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, sheet music, hello. Nice, we're collecting all the sheet music. Very good. Ooh, there's a there's a thought here. I hope you guys don't mind that we just do some exploring and just learn about the world. Do they really consume this? The original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. What is what is that? Wait, is that ram soup? It's ram soup! <laughs> they literally drink ram! <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Now where are we? Oh, we're at a restaurant. Is this a restaurant? I think. Meow. Always the weird stuff happens to you, mate. I don't dare leave our village, it's too dangerous. Besides, the guardian is the only one who can open this door. Uh, any musicians around here? I left the streets, and the next day the Zerks have consumed it completely. That's crazy. They can eat anything. I don't think it's these guys either. Uh, it's not that way. Oh, sorry. 
Okay. Uh, translate. Get new brain cells. <laughs> Only 1999. Uh, let's see here. We need to chat with Momo. And we also need to find another um, energy drink. Okay, we need to find a new energy drink. We need to get this password open. But the only way to get it open is to use the thingamajagger. Okay, the orange sign is right there. Okay, so the orange sign is over here. Uh, that one right here. Uh, here? It must be. Like, get up, getting up from here. Oh, translate. I live near the elevator. We got so we got to find the elevator. Okay, so I think it's this building right here. RIP humans. Is this the elevator? No. Hmm. Where should we go, guys? This is definitely the building. Oh, hello. This guy looks like a musician. Those guys better not drop a paint bucket again, or else Cosmo will be ticked off. Are you are you the musician? Dang it! I thought he was a Western dude who's like playing the guitar. What is this? Surgery. Please don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. Huh? No one's coming. Oh, here's a safe. No, that's not a safe. But I don't think I've been here before. Hmm. Okay, let's go up this way. We can climb up here. We can climb up here. And oh! Oh, we found a way up! Nice. Hello, level two. Oh, hello. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Understandable. Have a nice day. Okay, we're up. Okay, down here, this way. Up. Up. Alright, we're getting closer. Where's... Oh, here's this neon light. We need to get up there somehow. Oh, hello, sir. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Oh, that's not the real sky. We're underground. Um, where's the musician? He says he lives near the elevator. Are, oh, you, this is an elevator. Is this you? This is, this is it. Sheet music. No, he doesn't play an instrument either. Dang it! So he doesn't live near the... Um, maybe you're inside here? No? Oh, sorry. Someone's going about to die. Okay. Oh, I'm going to sleep. <sighs> okay, wake up. <laughs> Okay, looks like we are almost there. We need to find a little bit more of a path down. Boink. Boink. And up. And up. Okay. Oh, what is this? Remote control! Click. There's never anything on TV. Hmm. What about here? Nope, nothing here. Let's go across this way. Oh, look, look, look. Look at this, what is this? Yo, so many books! Yo, this guy reads, or does he? How long do you think it would take to read these books? That would take forever. Boink. Boink. Translate. 
Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful. Hey, we got a uh, keys. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. All right, let's find that safe. Safe, safe, safe. Ah, there it is. I see it. We gotta knock it down. Yeah, the safe is right there. You guys see it? It's right there. Fuck. Yes! Use the safe! Open up! You! Yeah. Hey, take Doc's notebook. Three out of four. A strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding the Zerks out on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. I don't know what this means, but it will probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. I'm sorry, I'm exploring! <laughs> We found a safe. All right, so now what? Now let's go out. All right. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, no, ah, oh, dang it, don't jump down. Yes. Jump over, maybe jump up, yep. Okay, there we go, we're back. Jump, doink. Now jump there. And now jump up here. Jump up. No. Come on, go up. Go up. You can do this. Over? No, not that way. You can't jump over on that thing? No, I guess not. Hmm. Darn. Too bad. Um, let's go over here. Maybe we can get there through this. Hmm. We should be able to get there like this, I think. Go down. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Oh, hey, it's you. You look do look weird, but there is something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to um, understand why you want to pet a cat. Just pet the cat. Dang, nobody plays an instrument. Meow. All right, let's go across this way. Point. Up. Up. Over. Is this it? Oh, in. Hello, Momo. Oh, his TV's not working. <laughs> I have something that will cheer you up. It's never going to work. Why'd I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? Here, maybe you'll like this. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up, but I tried to to contact them, but that <coughs> transceiver doesn't work. That reminds you of Gumshoe? Don't be mean to Gumshoe. My friends and I took notes of our research of the outside. Take mine if you want to go there. 
Hey, Momo's notebook. One out of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook. We go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. Oh, the, the voice you gave Momo. <laughs> I see. Signed, Clementine, Zalzabar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. <laughs> I think we should find the other notebooks. All right. Oh, translate. Outsiders. <laughs> okay, so there's a door. What is this? Nope, nothing. I don't think that's gonna open. Oh, hey, what's this? Up. Up you go. Boink. Boink. Ooh! Hey, music sheet! We're getting all the music sheets. Even though we can't find the musician. Any energy drinks we can steal? Dang it. Oh, now now everything's reversed again. Come on. You got this. Uh up. Problem. <laughs> Ah, dang it. Ooh, remember. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember well. The scientists spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Oh, why can't I remember his name? Oh, this is actually kind of a sad game. Can we take the picture of the cow? This is actually kind of a sad game. It's just a game about, you know, people in despair. Robots in despair. Are robots people? I don't know. The city has a cylindrical shape. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling if I believe my books. Big blue sky hidden behind. Alright, well, thanks, Mo. We gotta find some other. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Where? Oh, hey! This seems like a lead. Alright, let's go. Alright, so this is the, one of the elevators. Where's the other elevator? Are there more elevators? Oh, we also need to talk to that guy. So before we go into the elevator, let's go down. Point. Hey guys. Please don't bother me. Vapor, no, please don't bother Vapora. She's so clumsy. I know, boy. She's so clumsy. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. Hmm. Ah, we can go down that way. Are there any more elevators that we should know about? Oh, each one of these symbols seems to mean, like, where the outsiders are. Right, you guys saw the outsider symbol, right? That's that's that one right there. Oh, here's another elevator. <clears throat> here's another elevator. Someone lives near the elevator. It might be a person over there. Or it could be that person over there, but we checked that, all those people around that area. Oh, there's another elevator, the one with that bucket right there. Anyway. Uh, looks like we need to find a way to stop this. Hmm. Ah, there. Ventilation power supply. Monk. <laughs> In we go. What do we got? 
got here? Lick, 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 lick. shortcut. I was hoping there would be a collectible here, but I don't see one. Yeah, we don't have anything here. Too bad. Over here, maybe? No. But a box! Cats love cardboard boxes. Look at these robots. <laughs> Oh, ladies love cardboard boxes. <laughs> yeah, that's it for now. Well, how do we get out of here? Not this way. Meow, matey. So down we go. Oh, look. There's some graffiti down there. What is this? A place to remember something? C14! Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In their early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Uh, you guys know, um, what is it? AI generated art is legitimately becoming a thing. <laughs> it is legitimately becoming a thing. Humans often said it was. Uh, said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. So, you know, that does make me wonder, though. Are, is, are AIs capable of generating, you know, their individual styles? Or will they only imitate others? Because, you know, AIs tend to generally just imitate, right? That's their... Their goal is to <clears throat> recreate things, right? I think the outsiders seem to be living in the upper flats. We won't find anything in these narrow streets. But hey. Hey! He has a guitar! Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Well, I have some music for you. Uh, here's sheet music for. The way you compute tonight, that's a nice one. Hear me out. I know we finally found him! Look at these cats. <laughs> I think imitation. That was beautiful. Uh, we'll give him more sheet music later. Um, what was I saying? Right, um, Kemjo says, I will never be replaced by my waifu bot. <laughs> Some waifu bot. Um, son of a bitch. This Kemjo, she steals my coats kinda cute. But this new waifu AI, oh, she's really cute. She steals my coats with such angst. I love her, unlike Kemjo. <laughs> Access to sewers is condemned because of proliferation of zerks. Stay safe. Stay in the safe zone. Son of a bitch! Nothing's comparing to my waifu bot! <laughs> uh, 
okay, so we need to help the outsiders. But first, oh, we need to find more stuff. Um, these guys are just searching through the trash, right? We need to find another vending machine, too. Maybe if we go up. Uh... Catapult. Up, 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 no, 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 no. Here, and then go up. Boing, boing, okay. We are up on top now. All right, so we know where the musician is. And here's, oh, we're back here with the elevator. Uh, we went over there, that was where Doc was. And then we went over here. Next we need to go this way, maybe. But you guys see any vending machines? If you guys see any vending machines, uh, let me know. Because we gotta keep an eye out for more vending machines. How about up here? No, no vending machines. Can we go in here, though? Let me in, let me in. What's that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. Open the door! I am a cat and I want to cuddle you. Is that not enough? All right, where are we now? Up. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, looks like these are the outsiders. No, hey, that's the bartender. Oh, here. Music sheet. Another one. Yo, we're getting so much music for this musician. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, a computer! Take Clementine's notebook. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We've managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes... I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. All right, well, first of all, let me just type it quickly. Can I type? Type, typing. No, guess not. All right, here we go. Keep going, keep going. All right, can we get out now? There we go. There you go, cat. Uh, sit on the sofa. Ah, comfy. Do you guys have a sofa? I think I told you guys, I just got a sofa. It was a birthday slash Christmas present. Any more vending machines in this area? Hello? Vending machine down here? Uh, I think we've already used the vending machine near here. We need one more vending machine. We also need some laundry detergent. Chroma green, you guys. Apparently, everyone's gone green. Uh, this way? Up. 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 Hmm. We can't go that way. Oh! Oh, no! He's dead! It looks like this poor guy wanted to go to the upper level. I remember. Midtown is up there, all the way, away from the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Wow. Wow. Humans were being murdered left and right. Yeah, but the poor people go down there. Jeez. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Dang. Bruh. 
Bruh. This is very real, man. <laughs> oh, is that a vending machine I haven't used? No, it's inactive. And this is the shop. Dang it, we need to find that last vending machine! I think the one thing this game could provide us that would help out a little bit is a map. Because <laughs> I need some frickin' laundry detergent and I need some frickin' cans. There's the musician. And we need to figure out how to open this thing. Let's go back to the programming and see if we can figure out uh, what we have to do from there. Not here. How about this over here? Hmm. How about this here? Oh, literally nothing. <laughs> Dang it! This guardian's just walking us run around in circles going like, what's that cat doing? <laughs> He's just talking to everyone. I guess he just likes people. <laughs> Oh, I know. This guy sounds like he's he's waiting for someone. So maybe if I give him the safe's mysterious. Dang it! Can you get out of here? I, I, I need to use the vending machine. Anywhere up here? Nope. Let me go back to Elliot programming. It's this way. Is it, it was here, right? Uh, where was it? No, it was, it was some floor where you needed to knock. You had to knock, I remember. Uh, dang it. Is it this door? No, it's not that door. This door? No, not that door either. Oh, here, here it is. Open up, please. Thank you. It's me again. What does this say? We are programmed to be slaves, but since 25, 44, 87, 55, 56 days, we will have a soul. What? We have a soul. Hope one day outsiders will find the exit of this hell, Momo. Dang, bro. Robots don't have souls, they're just robots, please. Didn't Nier Automata teach us anything? It taught us that robots are all the same. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah? Alright, uh, so let's show this to him again. Here it means Duffer Bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? Duffer Bar. So maybe Duffer Bar has the answer. Maybe that's what he's saying. Hmm. Okay, off to Duffer Bar, I guess. It's right outside. Come on, go down. Boom. Look around for numbers, guys. Oh, there are a lot of numbers over there. 0476. Oh, I have to write these down. Hold on. Uh, I need a pen and a paper. I'll use my cell phone. Okay. Uh, Samsung Notes. Okay, uh, here.
Okay. 0476. 2466. 0476. 2466. 0995. 0. Sorry. Space. 0995. Um, seven, eight, eight, nine, zero, eight, nine, four, zero, eight, nine, four. And that looks like four, four, five, seven, four, four, five, seven. I think it's one of these codes. One of these codes is the solution. Do you have any energy drinks, Jacob? No energy drinks here? Dang it! Let me just make sure by going upstairs. Right, this guy didn't know anything. Human personnel only. <laughs> oh, hey, I have a pool. You did it, you win. Hmm. Wait, let's check these tables just in case. Anything? Nope. All right, let's go. How's it going, D uh, Dumball? Does this relate to you saying you were a furry last stream? Uh, well, I mean, you're always welcome to um, enjoy the presence of cat. All right, we got to get back to our area, not this way. This way? Yeah, here we are. Uh, nope, not this way either. Uh, I guess this way. Hey, hello. Okay, there is the people talking. So here will be the safe. Let's try out all these codes. All right, we got this. We totally got this. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Oh God, we can't input a zero. So try two, two, four, four, six. No. Um, seven, eight, eight, nine. No. Four, four, five, seven. No! What? What? It's none of these? What the frick? I thought I had it. Dang it. Back to the bar, guys. We need to figure this out. Uh, the bar is can get in this way, I think. We gotta figure this out. Wait, wait, there's a money sign up there. Does that mean something? Does that mean there's money to be found here? Uh, let's jump here, maybe? There's money to be found. Can we get up there? Can we get up here? How about up here? Oh, up here. Perfect. Here. 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 Oh, we've been here. This is uh, the, the graffiti guy. Hmm. Up. 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 Okay, we can take an elevator down, I think. Doink. All right, let's take the elevator, guys. It's so silly. Bunk. Thank you. Hmm. It says Mr. Crap. It says Squidward smells. Go. Duffer Bar. Six. What about this? Six, nine, eight, seven. There's another one, six, nine, eight, seven. There's so many different numbers here. What does that one say? I don't know. Jacob, employee of the month. 
September XX27. <laughs> oh, and men's socks, guys. <laughs> God, there's so many numbers. 8946? How do we tell which one's the right one? Um, maybe Jacob can help us. What can I do you for? Um... Do you sell energy drinks? I've heard that barter man is looking for that stuff. Um... Look around, look around. Maybe there is a, uh... Oh, 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 one, two, eight, three, one, two, eight, three, one, two, eight, three. We did it. We did it. What's inside? One, two, eight. Yeah! More shade music! That's literally nothing! <laughs> we literally found nothing. Oh. I saw like a thing. I saw a prompt for us to jump. Oh wow, cool. Okay, we just jump. All right, so we found that. <laughs> After years of trying, uh, Guitar Man. What do we have right now? Do we have three energy drinks? No, we have two energy drinks. Ah, dang it. There's gotta be a third somewhere. Do you guys know, do you guys happen to have any energy drinks? No, you're all sleeping. Why would you? Hmm. We can climb up that way. Hello. Super Spirit Detergent. That's the best I can do. Oh, hey! We know where Super Spirit Laundry is. Right? Super Spirit Laundry. Okay, let's find a sign. So, Super Spirit Laundry is this way. Oh, we've never been in here before! Let me in, please. Are you the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Um... No. <laughs> Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of your mess. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! There was no way forward! We had to do it! Please let me in! Let me in! No! Please. Please let me in. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in. Let me in. Please. There's gotta be a way in. Oh, here. Here. I can jump up there. Oh, he's angry! He has an angry face, please! 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 Please let me in! Please! No! Maybe we can drop paint on him. Oh! 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 I know! We can distract this guy! We need to distract him. We need to distract one of the guys throwing paint. 
He's like, stop playing with paint. He's like, oh, you want me to play with paint? Got it. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, that's just a sign. Okay, let's go. Let's go drop some paint on the guy who doesn't want paint to be dropped on him. <laughs> All right, we need to get up first. Dang, this boy's cool. Up. And over. And... How about go this way? Yep. Yes, please. Alright, now we're good. Up. Hello, old man. Alright, where are the paint guys? They should be over on that side somewhere. Uh, yeah, there, I, I see them. They're right there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Meow! Someone's day. That's the goal of every cat. No, go down. Boo. 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 Meow. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, detergent. Oh, detergent! We're stealing! Yes! Remember, guys, grand larceny is legal in zero states. <laughs> Oops. This is kind of cool. We have a little laundromat. Do robots even wear clothes? I mean, they don't need to, but I can imagine they do wear clothes. In the same way that we wear clothes, right? We don't need to wear clothes, but wearing clothes helps us feel protected. I think, right? Well, yeah, they, they are wearing clothes. That's fair enough. We got you your laundry detergent. What do you guys think? If you guys, if you guys, if it was legal to walk around without clothes, would you do it? I, I can't imagine I would. Because, you know, clothes are also protection, you know? It's not just like, oh, we're required to wear clothes in society. Clothes are actually, you know, legitimately helpful. Ew, no. <laughs> exactly, right? All right, we got a, uh, what is it, an electric cable. Which means now we can go to the knitter. Where's Grandma Knitting? Grandma Clothing. You like clothes? You know, to me, it's really interesting how clothes went from something, like, purely... Like, it went from something purely, like, practical to something that could be considered, like, partially an art form or beauty. You know, I guess... I guess humans like to do that, right? When they um, find something that's uh, interesting. Or, well, sorry, when they have something that's practical, they'll try to make it beautiful as well. Even things like guns, right? You know, back in the back in the day, people would like engrave their guns, even though the entire point of guns was shooting people. So, you know, it's always, it's kind of interesting to see how people turn just basic things into an art form. All right, let's give her the electric cable so she can make us a poncho. Thank you, my dear. I will get to work right away. They literally make clothes that don't cover anything. Yeah, at a certain for um 
At a certain point, it just becomes art and not clothes. Oh, we have a poncho! There you go, little one. It will suit you well. Oh, we gotta put on the poncho. Poncho, 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 poncho. Do it. Do it. It's perfect for a cold robot. What? No, it's perfect for me! Let me wear it! Let me wear the poncho! No! No, the whole reason I did that was to get a poncho for me! All right, let's keep investigating the outsiders. This is the worst game. Zero out of ten. Worst game. Worst game ever. Worst game. I don't even know why I'm playing this anymore. Like, what's the point? What's the point? If you can't see a cat in a poncho, what's the point of playing the game? Like, there is literally no point to this game anymore. Like, no cat in poncho means no point. <laughs> Oh no, not again. <laughs> okay, let's go find more of those outsiders. Donk. 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 Hmm. We went there. Oh, what about over there? There's an outsider bin over there. An outsider bin. How do we get up, though? Maybe we can just jump from up here? Yeah, there we go. We need to get over there, though. Hmm. How do we get over there? Maybe from the top? I don't know. It'd probably be from that direction somewhere. So let's go back that way. No, Kemjo, don't get violent. Actually, no, get violent. There's no cat in Poncho. The developers should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> what do you guys think of this game? I think it's really... I think it's just really cute. Not not cute. I think it's just really... It just makes you feel nice. Do you know what I mean? Except for that Wait, You know, okay, okay. I have no idea what to think because it kind of makes you feel nice. But also, at the same time, I was freaking horrified running away from people. <laughs> okay, we've been here, actually. And we got this notebook, I think. Let's check one more time. Meow. Hello. Anything in the corner here? No. Oh, a laundry machine. Okay. Mm, keep your eyes peeled, guys. For a notebook or something. Here? Oh, there's a book down there, maybe. No, I don't think that's it, though. Maybe on the top bunk? Can we get to the top bunk? No, no top bunk, top bunk, buddy. There we go. Oh, I saw something shiny. We got some uh, cables. Anything over here? Darn. Huh. I thought for sure this was- Oh! Hey, there's something down here. Got it! I found it! Yeah! Finally, the last notebook. 
This one seems to belong to someone named Zlablastar. All traces of organic life have disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breathes at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If we can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Yeah, they're metal-eating rabbits, essentially. They're head crabs. You guys know head crabs from the um, um, Half-Life? All right, let's get out of here. We still haven't found the remaining uh, uh, thingamajiggy. Meow. The remaining, uh, um, what is it? Uh, vending machine. All right, let's go up to see this guy again. Climb up? No? Hmm. So maybe we can see a vending machine from here? No, there's too many walls. Doink. We can also take this bucket downwards. Let me in, let me in. So do you have any um energy drinks? <laughs> Hello. Hello, my little cat. Are you still looking for notebooks? Uh, we found them, actually. Uh, here. That is Zvlalzar's notebook, right? I never under quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Um, are you gonna fix it? Are you gonna fix the thing? Clementine's notebook? Doc's notebook? Oh, this belongs to Doc. He was a huge nerd for electronics. He was great. He was on the verge of a great discovery. Uh... And Momo's notebook, and Clem's notebook, huh? Clem's notebook. You gotta go to bed? Thanks so much for coming, uh, Norian. Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. Oh, please, you've never met a person. Robots aren't people. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks. Oh, what's this note? The transceiver can be repaired. That's incredible. This means we can communicate outside the slums. Clem, Za, Doc, I'm sorry. I doubted our cause. I promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. We might be able to find you a way up. Let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. All right, here we go. Come on, buddy, you got this! It, voila, it works. Come with me. Okie dokie. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the top, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. Hey, there we go, buddy. My friends might be still out there. If there's a way out, they'll know. All right, let's do it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerg. You know, on second thought, I don't really want to get out. It's okay. It, it, I can I can see myself living here. It's kind of a friend. It's kind of a friendly place. There's no there's no reason to leave, right? There's no reason to leave, right?
Are we outside the safe zone now? Oh, I, I don't hear music. Uh, they're, they're outside the safe. We're outside the safe zone. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, they're more than just metal-eating robots. They literally eat everything. Ah, here we are at the... Oh, no. No, no. No, no. No. Okay. I will stay calm. I will not panic. I will stay completely calm. We can do this. Oh, no. Come at me. Come at me. You idiots! You idiots! Ha, you fools! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, God, they're coming! They're coming! Go, 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 go! You stupid idiot! memory there's a memory remember but remember quickly the city is full of neon it wasn't always this way there used to be strict energy caps especially in the slums but people couldn't handle the darkness one day someone lit up rainbow lamps neon signs all over them have all the neon signs all over their house that person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after that, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Hey, mental being mentally stable is very important for survival. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go to the bathroom. I cannot handle this on a full bladder. <sighs> you guys hang out with Cat.
Is that Jeffrey? <laughs> maybe. I caught a shiny Saija duck. Well, maybe my stream is just good luck for you guys. You gotta go. Thanks so much for coming, uh, Dumball. All right. Well, we made it here. Where do we go next? This game is freaking beautiful. Like, dang. Like, I know it's supposed to be scary and whatnot, but it is also, like, really, really beautiful. Oh, wait, why am I playing with the keyboard now? I'm gonna play with the controller. Just, like, the neon atmosphere is just kind of gives this really, like, you know, like... The fact that everything's neon, it kind of gives this depth of an ambiance. I don't know how to describe it. It almost feels... Like, you look at the neon signs, and then you look at most of the light is faded up here. It kind of gives this, like, kind of, like... Almost like a rusty feel. Do you guys know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it. But it makes the game just feel like... You know, it's like... The technology that has been all forgotten. You know, it's like, it's like, we associate, like, neon signs and all that with, like, kind of, like, big city future. And then you have it, like, fading out here as if, like, it doesn't exist anymore. I like that. I like that feeling that you get. Okay, so those things are down there, so we're not going down there. So where will we go? This way, maybe. Not that way. Up here. Okay, so this is where I went. Maybe over there. No, not that way. Um, over here. Okay, so here was where I was, also. Oh, up here, maybe. Up on this barrel? No. Not up on this barrel. Where do we go? Let's go get the transceiver all the way on top of the big building. Which one's the big building? I guess it's that one? Hmm. How do we get up there? Oh, up here, maybe. Yes, there we go. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Now we're making progress. Oh, and now we gotta jump on it again to turn it even further. And go. Alright, get ready, because there might be things that attack us. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, if we roll it over there, we can jump up on that thing. Okay, let's do that. Smart cat, smart cat, smart cat. Oh, careful. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, go back. No, 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 no. Let's try again. Go. Okay, looks like no turning back from here. Boing. Oh god, look at that! Oh jeez, what the heck is that? Oh god. What the frick is this crap? Oh jeez. Going up. Oh boy. Are there eggs over there? Oh my, there are. I think there are. We, we have encountered eggs, everyone! Eggs have been spotted! Oh! Oh no! We can do this, we can do this. Come at me! Come at me, you stupid heads! Ah. I see. You fool! Oh god, there's still one over here! No! Oh no! Ah! Oh. Wait. Attack him! Attack! Attack! Go! 
Go, go, cat, go! Oh, he's not smart enough! He's not smart enough to attack me! Yes, go, 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 go! Think, 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 think. Okay, I think this is the right way, this is the right way! Go up, 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 up! We did it! We did it! Oh! Saved! Saved! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god! No! Oh my god, no! We gotta go fast. Gotta go fast! Like, just like Sonic! Come on! Just like Sonic. Just like Sonic. Just like Sonic. Just like Sonic. Come on. Oh. My god. Oh. I, 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 this is a horror game. This is a horror game. There's my questions have been answered. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. Quickly now. Oh, God. Oh, my frick. Is this the new Minecraft update? Yes, this is it. What if there's like a giant one? Oh my god, I would hate that. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? When we jump down... Do not do this to me. Go, 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 go! No, no, no! Run, 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 run! Over here, you idiots! And we're out, we're out, we're out! Go, 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 up, 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 up! <laughs> okay, we're okay, we're okay! Up. Oh. There's gonna be more of them. God. Before I let them out, I want to explore this area. Yeah, there's something over here. Remember. 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 Neko Corp. Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After hu humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than just trash. Oh, so that- is that these guys? Now we have Zerks. Let's go. You develop a bacteria that eats everything? And, well, this is the result, I guess? And this is the this is the joy of um, genetic engineering. Here we go. Go down! Hack it! Hack it! Hurry! Hurry! Oh, thank God! Ha! Ha! You wanna get me? Ah ha ha ha! Oh god! Why did we need that, though? 
Why do we need this barrel? Oh, okay, where do we go from here? It couldn't be that way, could it? Hmm. This is the way we came from. Maybe it's to get over the fence. Oh, I think we have to roll it all the way out. I see now. Get ready. Gotta go back and face them. Here we go! Three, two, one. Let's get out of here! Go! Okay. Looks like they're not smart though. They're not that smart. We can trap them in that little corner right there. Hack it, please. Hack, please. Hack, please. Hack? Hack? Yes? Hack? No? No hack? I think I might have broke the game. <laughs> Let me restart it at the last checkpoint. The sounds they make are adorable. I know, which is the horrifying part. I, th I think I might have broken the game. Because uh, I think I had to um, hack it but I don't think it lets me hack twice. So let me just do that again. Go for it! Ha! You fools! Ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ah. ha! I just love it when a flesh infestation takes over my construction site. I know, right? Good times. Perfect. Up. Made it. Oh no. Come at me. Come on. Go. Oh no! Oh god, they jump! Run, 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 just run, just go, just go, just go! Oh! We're doing good. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, I don't see any of them here. Oh, but I see a lot of eggs. Oh, there's so many eggs. Speaking of which, how did bacteria develop eggs? Well, I guess in the same way that we developed laying eggs. Well, not we, but biology developed laying eggs. I'm not sure I want to pull that until I know what's all around here. Hmm. It might be an elevator? But if that happens, then... Okay. Oh, Nicole! Thanks so much for subbing! I hope to see you come by soon! Here we go! No! Oh no! No oh, god! Hurry up! Hurry the frick up! I can't keep this up much longer! Hack it, please! Oh god! There's so many! Please! Hack it! Hack it! Hurry! 
Came so close to dying. Meow. <sighs> <sighs> um, please open. Oh, I guess I'm going this way. Yeah, their jumping is almost high enough to get over the wall. Here it is. Put the transceiver on top of this antenna. Where? Okay. Oh, here. Click. We did it! Somehow this transceiver turned on the power! <laughs> Look, you can see the buildings up there and the slums down here. You can see the slums and then the middle district. Are we taking the elevator down? Oh, thank God. Look at the view. It is beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built this to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. Too bad all the humans are dead. <laughs> and my promise wasn't just to go outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories aren't coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Let's go back and find Momo now that we've connected the transmitter. We should be able to get help. Yeah! Wait, let me just make sure we didn't miss anything here. Like a, for example, a vending machine. No vending machines. Oh well. Oh well, let's go. Boing. Whee! <laughs> How convenient somebody put a cat elevator here. <laughs> Slums, part two. Who was this? It's a ball! Oh, what's this? Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. Wait, that, that means you thought I could die? Well, I guess I was the only one who could do it. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code is quite simple. It is... I can't put up with this crap anymore. 
<laughs> be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Okay, let's see here. What an easy and simple code. Can you remember it? The code for the lock on the window was... I think an H. Uh, wrong key. Let, let me try that again. Was it an O or a Z? Oh, I hate that. Capital O versus zero is so confusing. Well, thank you. Thank you for not actually making us memorize that. <laughs> to the bar! Oh. Hey, what's not what's what's going on, buddy? My friend and I love tossing buckets at each other. Good, clean fun. Our downstairs neighbor disagrees, so we're taking a break. Oh, that's okay. Just keep dropping paint on her bucket. Uh, on her um, porch. Maybe she'll move. Hmm. Oh, my bad. Let's head down. Oh, no. This way. Down. Down. And down. Perfect. Hey, buddy. What you up to? You look lost. What do you need? Um. Yeah, energy drinks. Do you know? Do you happen to have an energy drink? Well, that wasn't helpful at all. Okay. <laughs> You guys find any energy drinks? Nope. I doubt they have any energy drinks. So anyway, let's head to the bar. Bar is over this way. There it is. Hello, bar. Oh, oh, oh we've never used this before. No, it doesn't work. The vending machine doesn't work. A little verbal. Come here, I managed to get a signal. I like how he's the only TV that's rainbow. <laughs> Look at that monitor! Look at that thing! That thing is ancient! Let me see if I can get this working. I'm getting suggested so much cat-related content. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> hey, guys. I've almost got it. This game is more about robots than it is cats. Hello, can anyone tremors? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We're from the slums. We're looking for a way out. Wait, is that you, Zbaldazar? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zbaldar. Where are you? Are the others okay? <laughs> Hello, do you still hear me? <laughs> Sewers, how? Hello, we've lost the signal. I can't believe it, Zbaltazar is alive and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are most dangerous place in slums, but if Zbaltazar made it, there must be way. Hey 
Hey, that guy was like dead asleep. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with narcs. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. I warned you, your business is not my business. That is logical. Meow. I'll see you later, big boy. Brr, sh Seamus. His father, Doc, used to- Oh, he, this guy has a really deep voice. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on a new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Dang. Well, we I think we have a notebook uh, by Doc. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just, he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Follow me. All right. We are gonna break and enter. All right, come on. come on. Hey, you think you can buy me an energy drink? No. Bro, it's 3 a.m. and I'm still studying for my chemistry finals. Buy me a freaking energy drink. I remember when I was studying for finals um, one night, I like I did like, you know, everyone pulls an all nighter at some point in their life. And well, I'm happy to say that I didn't. I've never actually pulled an all nighter, but I have pulled a long enough nighter where I might as well have pulled an all nighter, like like got two or three hours of sleep. Like I remember I had like four espresso shots just to stay awake. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know, your father would have wanted to help us. That was to be expected. This situation is tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders. He won't help me, but you. You've done entire nights on sheer willpower alone? Well, I find that, you know, regardless of what you do, you burn out really fast afterwards, so try not to do it so much. <laughs> I have an idea. Are we breaking and entering? Oh. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Hey, nice. It contains a lot of information that hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to reestablish communication. All right, uh, let's see. Poncho? Meow. Oh. What are you doing in here? I told you, getting through the sewers is suicide mission. Leave me be. But I have your father's notebook. Wait, what's this? Wait. Is this my papa? Wait, how do robots have kids? Hold up, hold up. How do how do robots have kids? You know, I, I'm not gonna question it. Um, oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room in here in our flat, but where? Um, how about here? How about literally right here? Have you never noticed that one section of wallpaper is suspiciously the size of a door? Hello? <laughs> hey. 
they mail the baby to you and you assemble it by hand. Ooh, a digicode. Hey, buddy. You know the code? Also, why are you have why do you have RAM just lying out? Eat it. I've never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? Because you're an idiot. I have no idea what the password could be. Oh, what a surprise! I'm just destroying his house, and he's like, eh, whatever. Oh, what is this? Time will tell. Time will tell! Is there a broken clock somewhere? Sixteen... What, what time is it? Two, five, one, one? Maybe that's it? Have you ever, have you never noticed that these clocks don't move? Are you serious? Are you serious? He never noticed that there are four clocks here that are all in different times that don't move and he never bothered to change them. I, I swear to God. Two, five, one, one. You've got to... I, I swear to freaking God. At this point, you don't deserve to go in your lab, in this lab. <laughs> hey, look, a Zerk. Cute observations, cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time eats all materials, total vision in dark, reacts to intense light! You're the weapon! B12, you're the weapon! You've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it all this to- I can't either. These blueprints, they must be for Zerk's weapon. Papa was oh, always so secretive in this his work. He told me the weapon he was working on, in theory, but he needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums, and he never came back. Oh yeah, I, I met a new woman, uh, Seamus, so I've just been spending time with her. Tell your mother I say hi. <laughs> Zerk are officially no longer other control. They now eat metal. Ow. Oh, that, that must be shocking for all of them. That must be actually, like, legitimately horrifying. It's like, oh yeah, now, by the way, this disease can kill you. Um, well, I mean, fair enough. That's that's how we all felt about COVID, right? And um, in an older era, SARS. For those of you who are, were old enough to remember SARS. Concept. Light-based handgun. Low priority. Visual appearance and size. <laughs> Decibel omitted. High priority, test in real condition. Objective, 20 Zerk destroyed per second. Huh. Find anything interesting here. Um. No, not particularly. But we will see if we can find something. How about we turn on our light? They don't like light? No, I guess my light is not powerful enough. Hmm. Oh, what about here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, broken tracker. We found something. Hey, buddy. Uh... Yes, we did. We found a broken tracker. I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. 
I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks. My papa definitely took one with him. We need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door. All right, we're slowly figuring things out. Yes, please. Ah, well, the door went through me. All right, where do I go? Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. All right, let's see if we can find anyone in the slums. Not you. <laughs> Uh, nope. Oh, maybe Garbage Man. Here. You seem to be familiar with stuff. Look at all this great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit Barter Man. There's something over there for everyone. Um... Where's Barterman? Oh, there's the musician. Alright. So why don't we end this with a little bit of a song. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. playing the song. So what do you guys think of this game? I actually loved this game. Like, legitimately, this was a delight to play. It's not too, like, oppressive. It's not too gameplay heavy. It's just, you, you know, you just get to play and just learn about the world and just have a good time. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that, that, that's, that's kind of how I feel about the game. I mean, probably it's just fun stuff, it, exactly. Probably in uh, my own time, I will um, just go around collecting collectibles really quickly. Collecting collectibles. Um, yeah, but I will say this this stream or this game is only supposed to be like six hours long. So chances are it might just end the next, um, next stream. So we'll see what happens. But 
I hope, I hope, uh, what is it? We can at least play, we can play the game and maybe it can last one more stream. But as you guys know that I actually chose this game very specifically, not just because people were requesting it, but because I know it's kind of a shorter game because um, Tuesday I'm not going to be streaming. So I wanted to have like a stopper on uh, Tuesday. So like, it's because, well, I'm going to be getting my operation. Um, sorry, I, sorry I keep bringing it up. It's just a major point in my life right now. <laughs> Don't worry, we're all wishing me good luck. Thanks, guys. Do you guys mind if I vent for you guys to a little bit? Not, um, I am don't want to like bring down the mood of the stream, but I told you guys I have like kind of like rough news and I didn't want to bring it up because I felt like it would be um, kind of uh, bringing, it would bring the mood down, but <sighs> vent kind of sucks. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> For real though, go ahead if you want. Yeah, and you know, I like to try to be real with you guys. Um, yeah, so from my hip surgery, I told you guys I have a leg slash hip surgery. And one of, the pro one of the reasons why I have this problem is because I play volleyball. And the doctor recommended me not to play volleyball anymore. And that's really rough. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that because you guys know volleyball is kind of a big part of my life. Um, I'm not, I'm not a kid anymore. So obviously I'd be playing, you know, more like adult competitive instead of like really like, you know, in high school, it's like legitimate. You like challenge schools and stuff like that. And you have scrimmages, but. Yeah, and you guys know, like, I put put in a lot of work. I, I always talk about volleyball, so. It feels like, you know, part of me just feels like. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Career-ending injuries are never fun. Yeah. Your basketball coach had to stop playing because he got gout. Yeah. Well, now I, I now I understand that, man. And I mean, part of me feels like. Sorry if I'm crying. I, maybe to some of you guys, it's, this is like trivial. It's like, oh, why would he cry over never playing a sport again? But, you know, I, I've really put a lot into this sport, so it just feels... Uh, it's, you know, I really enjoy the sport, so it's just it's just a little bit heartbreaking. I think for any of you guys who are, have been really into a sport, I think, or like... Or like maybe into something, like maybe you get a hand injury and then you can't play music anymore, or you can't draw anymore, or it's like... Yeah, yeah but... You know, it means a lot to you, so I understand why it's hard to hear. Thanks. Thanks. You know, on one hand, on one hand, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to turn this into like a sad stream so on one hand i will say that you know it kind of sucks it feels like i've put in a lot of effort to um you know improve myself only to never be able to do play volleyball again but you know on the other hand i feel like you know i can't say it was all for nothing because being part of you know being playing the sport you know taught me you know not only basic physical things but also general like philosophies and ideas that I can use to um um you know push myself forward how to be competitive without 
um, being too competitive, how to enjoy something while being able to compete, how to stay dedicated at something. Those are skills that I think, you know, I can take away at the very least. So I won't say it was, I, let, no, let me put it this way. I refuse to say it, it was all for nothing because I know even if I'm not going to be playing it anymore, I, I can at the least acknowledge that, you know, I got a lot out of it, even if it wasn't just playing, even if it's not playing the sport at a high level anymore, it's still, you know, and a lot of the skills also translate physically to other sports. So maybe I'll try, have to try picking up another sport. Maybe I'll, I don't know, play sock. Oh God, soccer. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't, I guess, I guess what I wanted to really bring up is this idea. Hey, how's it going, Ataru? Yeah, we had an emotional few minutes. Yeah, but I will say, like, what I wanted to bring up is this idea that, you know, just because you can't pursue one thing that you really want to pursue doesn't mean that the skills and the, and the abilities and just the general mental skills that you developed don't stay with you so even if i can't play it at a high level anymore i'm just thankful that i was able to play so i want to try to make it a positive thing you bought from the store fish kit kat oh right japan has a lot of japan has a lot of weird kit kat flavors <laughs> Yeah, so I want to try to turn this, I want to try to turn that conversation into a happy, com not a happy, but a somewhat inspiring or maybe motivational conversation. Just because, I don't know, maybe one day you guys will have to go through this. Maybe you have something that takes precedence in your life and you can no longer, um, you can no longer do the thing you enjoy or you can no longer pursue the thing that you are passionate about. And I just want to, you know, make sure, you know, there are positive ways of thinking about it. You don't have to just entirely think of it as, you know, everything is over. Um, you can kind of focus more on the fact that, you know, even if it is has ended, you still have a lot of, you still gained a lot of things from it. So, yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to say at the end. So, even though it started out a little bit emotional... I want to make sure you guys, if you guys ever face a situation like that, I hope that you guys can take something from this particular conversation, this particular stray stream. <laughs> sea salt Kit Kat and a wasabi Kit Kat. I've never heard of wasabi Kit Kat. I know I've heard of salt Kit Kat, sea salt Kit Kat. So I don't know, hopefully I helped in some way. Hopefully that advice well, I hope that advice is never useful to you, but in case it ever becomes relevant, I hope you can use it. Stray away from the game and learn some life. Thank you. Thank you, As Get out of- get out. Get out. <laughs> Stupid puns! <sighs> you know what I was thinking? I don't know if you guys would be up for it, but one thing I wanted to do was just have a pun stream where you guys just torture me with puns. How many sims? Only two. Randy says yes. God, that would be such a horrifying stream. That's 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 the equivalent of a horror game for me. Oh god, Kiyoma says smiley. Holly says yes, pun stream. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? You know, maybe that will be my I look forward to that if they do it. Maybe that can be my 5K stream or my 4K stream. Pog for puns. Maybe that's my 4K stream. <laughs> oh God. Now I've said it and now you guys are gonna hold me to that. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, God. You're gonna find a list of put. No, stop! Please! Please, no! No, please, no! Why did I have to say this? <laughs> this has become the worst stream ever. <laughs> No, 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 you're going to touch up on your pun. Stop. I should have never said that. You're gonna call it the PU23 <laughs> incident. <laughs> it's like the DL6. Plutonium 23. Yes, that's definitely, that's definitely a real, <laughs> that's definitely a real variant of Plutonium <laughs> 23. Like Phoenix Wright, it's like DL6. I want some Fanta. Don't you wanna? <laughs> you thought the hallway was gone because it's not the same color and not covered in the void like usual. Yeah, right now it's just it's just a light. It's just the light is on. Objection! You are mother. <laughs> Make pun 23 incident as the joke title. <laughs> I might, I might include that in here. DL6, don't you mean lithium deuterite? I don't remember any of my periodic table. I remember hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron. Those are, that, that's, the, that's the only five I remember. That's one, two, three, four, five. I think oxygen is 16 or something like that. Is potassium 19? I don't remember. VTuber collab. <laughs> oh no. If there's a VTuber out there, Sure. <laughs> Who wants to collab with me? Sure, why not? I would, I mean, that'd be perfectly fine with me, honestly. I don't have anything against VTubers. I just like, not particularly for them either. It's just like, I don't, I don't see the major appeal, but it's like, I don't think they're bad or anything. Waifus everywhere. Oxygen is number eight. Oh, so, so maybe the atomic weight is 16, right? Right? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I knew- I know 16 has something to do with oxygen. You're going to eat lithium. Don't- don't eat lithium. Please don't eat lithium.
It's actually 15.9994. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have precision to the 10,000th digit. You had to memorize. Get out. All of you, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> um, actually. <laughs> your memory, memory of kid chemistry is faded. Yeah. My memory of anything in high school has faded. Like, don't tell me to, like, solve, like, gravitational the the gravitational quadratic equation or whatever it was does that mean the 16th student is a oh, <laughs> sure um what was it um Hey, Kyoko, are you doing the laundry too? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th. <laughs> You've had chem for the last two years? Dang. Have you, like, legitimately, like, is your, like, school really hard pushing on chemistry? What's the fuzzy boy? Well, this is SpaghettiO. Um, SpaghettiO was um, here for the cat stream. SpaghettiO, SpaghettiO, same thing. Spragashito, Spragatasho, Spragatio, Spragatito, Spragatito. It's, 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 I'll, I'll bring out all the boys. Hold on, I'm gonna forget all the boys. Okay, so we got, um, Spaghettio, we got Quackers, and we got Coco. <laughs> Do you know, um, the duck is the least popular of the three. That that hurts me because I love the duck. Kioma, yes, this is Kioma. <laughs> I freaking love the duck. I don't know why um the duck is so unpopular. He's the best. Yeah, so I have all of them. <laughs> There are still tags. I mean, I could cut them off, but you know, the tags are memorable, but maybe I'll just put them in the, um, uh, I'll put them in like a bag so I can like make sure I remember them. Weed cap, apple sore, and Donald duck. The duck is less memorable. Yo, the duck has hair. The duck has freaking hair. The top five favorite Pokemon is Seraluge. I don't even know who that is. Seruledge. Oh, it's the super edgy boy. Uh, edgy boy. Oh, uh, okay. So Seruledge Fuecoco. Meow Scrod. <laughs> oh, Meow Scrod, I made top five. I think I know why. Claude Sire and Tinkatime. T 
Tinkaton's awesome. Even though Tinkaton, like, like, combatively is not that good, unfortunately. Like, it has that super awesome hammer smash move, and then it just has a terrible attack stat, which is kind of just sad. <laughs> you don't like the SpaghettiO evolutions? Yeah, I wish they stayed on four legs, but for some reason they had to learn how to walk on two. It's nice balancing. You know, fair enough. It is good balancing. You only have the Pikachu wedding set. <laughs> the wedding set. I didn't know there was like a Pikachu wedding set. Also, SpaghettiO has difficulty standing up. Like, it'll just fall. <laughs> Throw SpaghettiO at the wall to see if he is- No, I would never do that to SpaghettiO. Use Gorilla Clue. <laughs> yeah, but... Quaxley's very abusive to Fue Coco. Quaxley's your favorite? Quaxley's my favorite. Maybe I'm just biased because Quaxley is, um... Uh, maybe I'm biased because I chose Quaxley. <laughs> Quaxley is doing a bullying. <laughs> I freaking love Quaxley. I freaking love how he comes out and he flips his hair. Or maybe it's a she. I, I, well, my, my Quaxley was a she. I was lucky enough to have a female starter, which is very rare. You're biased, but you don't care. Exactly, it doesn't matter. Puyo Puyo better than Quaxley. What, Puyo Puyo? Wait, hold on. Puyo Puyo. Oh, Puyo Puyo Tetris! Puyo Puyo Tetris! Oh, I haven't heard about that in a long time. What if I did a tour of my apartment? You would realize that my apartment is a freaking mess? I would do that at one point. Uh, maybe after I bought my second camera so I can move it around. Puyumuku. What is Puyumuku? I had a mail starter, but it's pretty cool. I see. Um, what is it? You know, you can reproduce with dittos. Just catch a ditto and then you can just reproduce them. Puyumuku. I tried really hard. I'm trying really hard. It's taking a lot of willpower to not play competitive Pokemon. Since now it's so much easier to play competitive Pokemon, you just turn on your Switch and just press play competitive or play battles or like com uh, ranked battle or whatever it is. I'm trying really hard not to play competitive because I know the moment I play a single match, I will never stop. Like I know it. Oh, Puyumuku! It's this guy! I I have done a tour of my apartment, actually. Yeah, for those of you who didn't know, um, I guess if you don't want to be spoiled about how to catch a specific Pokemon, then spoiler alert. But other than that, it's not really. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that Ditto was, um, um, Ditto in, um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are actually just disguised as other Pokemon. Zorua, too. And so, I was just trying to catch a, um, I think I was just trying to catch, like, a Scyther or something, like, while I was playing, and then it just transformed into a Ditto, and it was like, what the- I wanted the Scyther! <laughs> No, it's the new apartment. 
I specifically gave a tour of my new apartment when I moved in. But maybe you weren't there yet. Or maybe you missed the stream. It's possible. You haven't found an Applin since? Yeah, you know, here's the interesting thing, right? Because Applin aren't found on the ground. So if you see an Applin crawling around, you know it's a ditto. That's, that's one of the cool things. If you see an Applin crawling on the ground, you know it's either a ditto or a Zorua. Because Applin never start on the ground. Yeah, it took me forever to find an Applin. I literally just kept bashing into t trees over and over and over again. Oh, and after I found that ditto, I actually found a ditto that was disguised as a ditto. <laughs> like, I ran into the ditto, and then it untransformed, and then it became a ditto. <laughs> Snack 100. Saying goodbye to Ash. Yeah, Ash is leaving. It's been so long. I know Ash in Japanese. What is it? His name is... Let me look it up. Ash is Satoshi. Oh, wow. So, Ash is... Ash's name is actually Satoshi. <laughs> That's a glitch. If you save, then leave. Then come back. The ditto is... If it's loaded, it won't have a disguise. Uh, no, but it actually untransformed. Right? I, I know that... I know that sometimes if the ditto, if you catch a ditto that's undisguised, it just shows up, right? But it actually untransformed. I think there is like a very small percentage. If there happened to be two ditto, if there happened to be two ditto on the field, and it just so happens that one of the ditto decides to copy one of the Pokemon on the field, and it just so happens that that was the other ditto. The, um, the, the, the program doesn't have, a, doesn't contain an exception for copying Ditto. So you just end up copying Ditto. No, I don't think it failed. I actually saw the, the, the tra untransformed, but I don't know, maybe. But maybe, I don't know. Yes, Ataru, I was watching Pokemon in Japanese for the very first time, and I was shocked when they called Brock Takeshi. I was like, what? Who are you? <laughs> because Takeshi is such a normal name, unlike Brock. Brock is not a common name. <laughs> Same reaction. <laughs> exactly. You know what the Japanese name for the bug type Paldea gym leader is? Kaede. <laughs> you know, Kaede is an actual name. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming, Kiyomo. Kaede is an actual name. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's not exclusive to the music girl in Danganronpa. <laughs> thanks so much for coming, Kiyoma. <laughs> Wait, never mind. Well, thanks so much for staying.
Actually, you know, I better get going too, um, because, well, I have to wake up early tomorrow because I have a COVID examination because they require you to do COVID examinations before you go to the hospital for whatever reason. But what's on my current game to do list stream? I remember Persona 5 and or, you know, I haven't updated it recently, but recently I've just been looking up um, what's currently popular um, because you guys recommended Stray. And also, um, what is that? Um, probably the next game we're going to play. In fact, no, guaranteed the next game we're going to be playing is the new Fire Emblem because I'm so freaking excited for that. I am so excited to meet the girls. Oh my God, I am so freaking excited. I, I bet you... It won't be a blue haired girl this time. I bet you, I 100% bet you, it will not be a blue haired girl. <laughs> Wait, I've only simped for two blue haired girls. Just um, Marianne and, um, and um, what is it, Tsumugi. Have I simped for any more uh, blue haired girls? I don't think so. Well, you need to know anything about Fire Emblem to understand what's going on. All you need to know that it's it's essentially a dating sim with extra steps. <laughs> you sim for Azura. Is Az here still here? Az, was that a good description of Fire Emblem? <laughs> Dye my hair blue so I preach, so I love myself more. <laughs> yeah, Fire Emblem is a strategy game. I generally go over the strategy, but the strategy kind of just makes sense. Um, no, it's clear it's a strategy game with a dating sim. I don't know. Lately, we've been more focused on the dating sim than the strategy. Azura has blue hair and you may simp for her. Um, I don't know yet because I'm, I haven't looked up the characters yet. Like I'm trying to be as blind as possible. The only thing I've saw, seen is, uh, is like the trailer when there's like a dragon that wakes up and he's like, I'm a dragon. And then they said, how long have I been sleeping? Like 10,000 years. Oh my God, I gotta save the world again. <laughs> That, that's the story. That's the story. It's a very simple story, Holly. You um, move little pieces around and they're like, I can do this. And then she draws her bow and then she fires and then she misses and then the enemy dodges it. And you'll hear me like swear for like a good 10 minutes. <laughs> Azura doesn't come out. Any oh, she was introduced in the 3DS. Azura, Fire Emblem. Oh, this girl! I, I don't know, a bit too serious for my taste. <laughs> I like girls who have the maturity of like, a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Holly, it's essentially a strategy game. You have um, units on the board and then they move around and then there's like an overarching story behind it. Um, but um, generally, the, the main kind of how I like to play the game is I like to focus on the story and I get very sad when my, my soldiers die because soldiers are like have actual faces they're not just regular soldiers like you actually get to know your soldiers you talk with them you take them out on tea parties and then they die and you feel really bad and then you just want to cry because they're like because they just told you about how much they hate their mother and then as they die they say um as they die they say something like you know maybe my childhood wasn't so bad because you were in my life. And then they die and then you feel awful. <laughs> You're playing Super Famicom Fire Emblem right now. Jang, that's old. Yeah, so it's a strategy game where watching people die is very sad. 
and you also can date some of them. <laughs> I can't wait to see who I'm gonna date. <laughs> His type is yes. If you brand a shape onto someone's skin, is that a fire emblem? No, that's um, assault and battery. <laughs> You're playing Genealogy of the Holy War. I think that's the. I think that's kind of like the fan favorite. I think that's like the generally agreed upon best uh, fire emblem <laughs> among fire emblem fans, apparently. Anyway, I better get going. Uh, you were playing Kirby with your teacher? Since when do teach what since when are teachers your friends? No. Teachers are too nice to you guys. Like, no, see, why did they get rid of teachers hitting you with a ruler? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but seriously, they should. <laughs> Anyway, I better get going. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Um, yeah, and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, for some more cat game. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Do you have any quests for me? And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>